What's good, YouTube? Bad hit me at you with another video. 300 Gang, you know what it is. Uh, what's going on, man? Today we getting into something kind of special today. As you all know, it's car show season. It's a full swing. Um, with that said, we got a show out here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, you know, where they hold the NASCAR events and um, some drag racing events as well. Um, the Atlanta Motor Rama 2019. If you go back in the videos on the channel, um, I attended last year's event, uh, 2018, um, one of my earlier videos on the channel, so if you want, you can go ahead and check, take a look at that, um, I'm running late, man, um, I'm on the way down here to meet the fellas and the gals, um, at the pre-meet, and, uh, we're gonna all head out, you know, and kill the car show, man, so y'all stay tuned, let's get it. Pre-meet vibes, pre-meet vibes, a 2019 Motorama. Y'all made me think I should have bought my big buck cooler. We could have filled him up with that good shit. Hey, see, he already on it. What up, boy? You all right? Hey, I'm living, man. You got some bacon over here. You want some? Oh, damn. He cooked. You got some cook. soju right here. If you want some? What's that? Soju. What is that? It's like Korean moonshine, bro. Oh. But it tastes better. Hey. Hey. I'm going to try it when it warm up. We got Jack. We got Jim. We got Crown. I like it. I like your style, so. <laughs> got fireball for somebody feeling crazy. I like your style. Because it's going to get up to like 80 today. Yeah. So right now, we just got to bear with the bullshit. And I got some total cups, too. Man. Come on, man. We eating good in the morning. Y'all see it? Yeah, sir. Ooh, we. Yeah, sir. Ooh, we. Yeah, time to shit. Exactly. Y'all see what it is out here, man. 2019 Motorama. We at the pre meet. Politicking. I thought it was going to be 80 degrees. Thor's out here almost butt naked. Matter of fact, did y'all go see Thor in the Avengers Endgame yesterday, people? Now nah, he's at the car show. Goddamn. Hey, yo. Iron Man in the field. Hey, I'm Peter Iron Man. Let's go, y'all. My boy, Mr. Stark. 392. Shot town pimp in the house, shot town. <laughs> we rolling out? We rolling out, people. Let's get this going, y'all. It's, it's time to mob. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to get there. Hey, hey, Buck, when we get there, right, it's going to be some tunnels. So you already know what time it is when we hit them tunnels. Hey, light them up. Hey, when we get there, you're going to hit them tunnels. You, gonna, you know what time it is. When we hit them tunnels, light the bitches up. <laughs> What made you switch it up? <laughs> what made you switch it up on them? It was time. It was time. It was time? Hey, I like it. Looking like a Florida Gator now. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Appreciate it. We're going to hit them tunnels. You know what time it is, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Hey, All right, man. Let's get ready to head out. See y'all at the uh, Motorama, man. Atlanta Speedway. Let's get it.
made it. What's up, boss? And those tabs on the bottom of that don't pull them away. That's how you get in and out. That's that scan. Okay. Thank you. See, we made it out here to the Motorama at Atlanta Motor Speedway. You see the big grandstands behind me, man. Real deal NASCAR shit. We out here on the infield, you know. But we about to walk around, see what kind of action we can get into. It's a lot of dope cars out here, man. So let's get it. Damn. Let's turn three down there. Yeah, that's the finish line. Man, look at this guy right here, man. You know I'm biased with red and black, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like a lot of fun right there is what that is. Sheesh. Man, I... I got another car track now. It's a, it's a one-off. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's yeah. only car, one of its kind. Wow. So I will never track that car. How long it took you to build it? Three years. Wow. Oh, it's a, it's it's a, a kit car. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to call it a kit, but no, you have to... Yeah, it's a kit. You yeah. have to build it. It doesn't come with all the pieces. There was a lot of fabricating, a lot of body design. Yeah, this is a hand-built car. Yep. Yes, yeah. From scratch. Man. And is that a, what, uh, what LT version is that? That's, a, uh, that's an LS3. LS3? LS3 yep. from Brady. Oh, so got a Graziano transaxle. Kind of a Lambo. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. So what, you had to piece them together. Oh, yeah. yeah. What kind of uh, numbers you getting, if you don't mind asking? If you don't mind me asking, what kind of numbers you getting out of it? On what speed? Yeah, yeah I haven't really uh, uh, 
I'm still checking it out. Let's put it right. that way. I only finished it in December, so. Oh, okay. Uh, what about horsepower? Uh, horsepower's got 500, a little over 500 horse. Oh, yeah. And it don't, it don't weigh nothing. It weighs 2,300 pounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 500 horsepower on a 2,300 pound. Oh, my God. Yeah, it'll, uh, it's it'll it's pretty it. scary, ain't it? I, I can imagine. Yeah, it'll get away from the heartbeat. Jesus. Man, this is you beautiful. You've got to take it up to some twisty roots. Well, I will once I get it, Jesus. Once I get it sorted, it's sorted out. out. Yeah. Yeah, there's little things I still have to clean up a little bit. This thing is beautiful. But, uh, awesome job, though, man. Awesome job. Twisty roots, actually. You know, you're in a point control the Man, this thing is just... This is the true definition of, you know, built not broad right here, people. The true definition of built not broad. There it is. Man. What do you got to say about that, bro? It's nice. It's nice. If I don't fit it, though. Yeah. If I could, though, I would. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, be along with you on that ride, brother. I cannot fit in there. Man. I mean, this is a beautiful day for something like this. You know, you got all kinds of treats out here. You got old and new. You know, even got some foreign flavors. Oh, a Mopar guy going over to a Ford. Ford's my second love. I can't be mad. Beautiful truck, man. Thank you very much. Beautiful truck, man. You want to give me some info on it? Bought it from the original owner. Yeah. He lived in Cumberland, Georgia. I've had it for six years and it's still bone stock other than the car. Wow. Beautiful, though. Thank you. What, what size motor's in it? 350. There you go. 351. GT40. Hey, I mean, it come factory, you know. Right, that. right. Aluminum intake. Man. He, uh, drove it from coming to Atlanta every day. Every, he daily this thing? Uh, he daily this. Yeah, I, I, me too. Sheesh. I know you get a lot of looks, don't you? Yeah, yes, sir. Jesus. And you don't see many. No, I, that's what I was just telling him. All the interiors. Man, come on, stuff. man. Look at this. Pristine condition. And he dailies it. Wow, man. Hey, brother. 273. And it still runs still like an off the showroom floor, don't it? Got spark plug and oil change. That's all it's ever been. Hey, that's what you call good ingenuity. That's, that's what you call it been a good. I mean, you know, they can. What, what power does that motor come from? Today's rated at 300, but yeah. I'm sure it's more. You know, Chevrolet come out with that SS 454. Yeah. Ford come out with this, and I've, I've got the Motor Trend magazine where they've done the comparison. Right. It kicked it. It whooped his ass, basically. In everything it done. <laughs> man, I saw it standing over, and I said, I wouldn't mind a little sport truck, man. It's fun. I mean, in its day, it was bad. So, right. You know, I mean, hell, it's bad now. But as far as the horsepower. Right. right. And that, you know, a lot of people get caught up in power. It's not always about power. I just like that. You get, exactly. If you get behind the wheel and put a smile on your face, man, right. that's it. People come by and throw the thumbs up. That's all you need. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everybody just want big, crazy power numbers, but... Beautiful though, man. Thank you.
Carl with Garrett's Rod Shop out of Columbus, Ohio. We're at the Atlanta Motor Speedway uh, Summit Motorama, and we brought the Hemi S Barracuda, 1968 Formula S Barracuda, transformed into what you see here. Wow. This thing is. So, give people a little bit info about the car, what's sure. all been done, some um, of the history on it. History, well, it's a, it was a Formula S car. We, it was customer brought us. Uh, about 10 years ago to have it done it was just going to be a regular you know just a resto mod kind of right. street machine driver and then um, that customer kind of fell out of the deal and uh, we ended up getting the car and then another customer we were building the car for liked it so much that wow. he said uh, he had to have it so we got to finish it up just recently it debuted and um, it's got an Art Morrison chassis a new Gen 3 Hemi Magnuson Supercharger oh man um uh, Recovery room, all the new interior, and um, a lot of time and effort, but it's well worth it. Man, Jesus. I mean, as you all know, guys, here on the um, Bad Hemi channel, we feature stuff like this all the time, but this one definitely takes the cake by far. Uh, what size is the blower on that thing? Uh, that's a Magnuson supercharger. Uh, I I can't tell you exactly. I forget what the specs are on that, but okay. that actually was the first uh, Magnuson supercharger for the Gen 3 Hemi. Oh, we brought it out brand okay. new when we started this project. Uh -huh. So, uh, but we're, we're assuming probably about 600 horsepower, probably at the rear. Oh wheels. man, that's and yeah, and it's, it's beautiful. A, More than enough. Six speed. Oh um, yeah. But uh, and you can see it's uh, we use shockwave right tech suspension. Oh yeah. I mean, as a real Hemi enthusiast. Everyone loves the billboard on the side. Yeah. I mean, you know, the old Hemi Cuda, so it had the Cuda on there, so. Yeah, so we changed up. We, we kind of incorporated the newer Hemi. Uh, right. The new Hemi chevrons and. Right, with the, the, with the Dodge stripes yeah, and everything. Gotta get yeah, that, you know, just kind of. If, if today this car was built, this is what we think it would look like. So. Man. And it, it, really, it really blends a lot of the old and the new together. Exactly. You know, we, we try not to take too much away. You can still tell it's a barracuda. Right, man. So, from start to finish, start to finish, how long did it take? The overall is probably about a three and a half year build total. Wow. Um, it's hard to tell, and there's so many hours. Sometimes we right. we lose track ourselves. So. Man, jeez, this is just so disgusting. All right, guys. So as you can see, man, this is definitely something we would love to have in the garage one day. We can hope and dream, but, you know, this is the type of things you see when you come to these types of events. And, um, you know, this is just amazing, you know, so. Yeah, the whole front end was redesigned. Uh, moved the, the headlights. We actually dropped the, we, we shortened the grill area and growled. It's kind of like the new cars. Exactly, gave it a little, you know, yeah, angry eye angry feel. To, eye yep. Man, dude, it was just so clean. The answer to what, you know, Camaro or, you know, something for. I mean, they're, they're kind of overlooked, but they're short wheel based and yep. fairly lightweight and uh, they're, they're, they're fun. They're a fun car. Man, well, tell the folks where to find you at again. If they want to look you guys. Shop, Columbus, Ohio. All right. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you for bringing it out. Yeah. Thank you. Flip up into the cage.